The question is evaluate the value of integration of this function sine inverse of 2x upon 1 plus x square dx. Now, to solve this question, first of all, we are going to analyze this function sine inverse of 2x upon 1 plus x square, which we have to integrate with respect to x. Now, basically, it is a sine inverse function. Okay, so this function cannot be integrated directly. On the other hand, we can apply the formula of integration by part by taking the other function as 1. That is, we can take, at, take this as sine inverse of this value into 1. Okay, but the term inside the bracket is very bulky. 2x upon 1 plus x square. If we differentiate sine inverse, so we are going to get a hell of a big problem to differentiate for the uh, in the beginning only so what i'm going to do i'm going to simplify this expression okay so my idea comes from the result that if i place x is equal to 10 theta then i get in this if i assume x is equal to 10 theta then i'm going to get this as 2 10 theta upon 1 plus 10 square theta which is equal to sine of 2 theta okay so, to begin with, I'm going to place, let, uh, assume or substitute x is equal to 10 theta. On substituting x is equal to 10 theta, differentiating both sides with respect to x, I'm going to get dx is equal to uh, 10 square, uh, sec square theta, because differentiation of 10 theta is equal to sec square theta, so sec square theta d theta. So, I'm going to get dx is equal to sec square theta d theta. Now, if I place x is equal to 10 theta in this value sine inverse of 2x upon 1 plus x square I get this as equal to sine inverse of 2 10 theta upon 1 plus 10 square theta which is equal to sine inverse of sine 2 theta sine inverse and sine cancels out inverse trigonometrical function and trigonometrical function dissolves so I'm, I'm going to get this as equal to 2 theta so this complete value can be written as 2 theta and dx can be written as sec square theta d theta. Okay. So, so this integral has converted into a very simplified form 2 theta into sec square theta d theta. Okay. Now to integrate this function 2 theta sec square theta d theta, I'm going to apply the formula of integration by parts. And in this, I'm going to assume 2 theta as the first function and sec square theta as the second function. Okay, so applying the formula, I'm going to get this as 2 theta integration of sec square theta d theta minus differentiation of 2 theta with respect to theta, integration of sec square theta and the integration of the product. So, sec square theta can be uh, the integration of sec square theta is 10 theta and on differentiating 2 theta with respect to theta, I get this as equal to 2. So, this is equal to 2 theta 10 theta minus 2 into 1 plus 10 theta d theta. Now, integration of 10 theta is equal to minus log of cos theta. So, I get this as equal to 2 10 theta minus 2 into minus log of cos theta plus c. Solving further this value, that is, first of all, I'm going to take 2 common and this minus minus is going to become plus. So, I can write this as equal to 2 into theta 10 theta plus log of cos of theta plus c. Now, we have started the integration with respect to x and we get the term in terms of theta. So, this is to be converted in terms of theta to get the final answer. Okay. So, first of all, we have assumed x is equal to 10 theta. So, in place of 10 theta, I can place x. Okay. Next, theta is equal to 10 inverse x as x is equal to 10 theta. So, I can place theta is equal to 10 inverse of x. Now, what about cos theta? Now, since 10 theta is equal to x upon 1, I can represent this thing in the, in the form of a triangle. That is, 10 theta is equal to perpendicular upon base. That is, 
this angle theta can be written as equal to x upon 1. Okay, now I am solving the value of cos theta with the help of this triangle because when you solve a large number of problems, it is very easy to solve this value of cos theta with the help of this triangle rather than remembering the values or using trigonometrical identities to solve them. Okay, so this becomes quite easy and so that is why I use this method. Okay, so you should also try to catch up with this method and this also means that is uh, you can also convert this cos theta in terms of uh, x by using some other alternative method. Okay, which probably I, I could show you in some other videos. You can watch out for my videos for that. Okay, so because tan theta has been represented as x upon 1, so obviously this is uh, these are the two sides of a right angle triangle. So this will be a hypotenuse. Hypotenuse will be equal to square root of 1 plus x square. So cos theta can be written as 1 upon square root of 1 plus x square. So I can replace cos theta with 1 upon 1 plus x square. Okay, so this is going to convert this expression in terms of x. So I'm going to get this as 2 into x tan inverse of x plus log of 1 upon square root of 1 plus x square. Okay, now we can simplify this a little bit more by taking this uh, the term 1 upon square root of 1 plus x square as 1 plus x square to the power of minus 1 by 2. Okay, so this is log the argument is raised to the power of minus 1 by 2 for log. So this can be written as uh, written outside and this 2 is going to multiply with both these terms to give me 2 tan inverse 2x tan inverse of x plus 2 into minus 1 by 2 log of 1 plus x square plus c. So this 2 and 2 cancels out. So I get 2 tan inverse 2x tan inverse of x minus log of 1 plus x square plus c which is my required answer. Thank you. Please support us by subscribing to our channel, by liking this video and giving your comment for the video.